Hey everyone, it's Angel here at the First in Texas Waco District event. I'm here with 2582 Panther Bots. They're here showcasing their robot here with their amazing climber, algae, coral intake, and elevator. So stick around and find out what Panther Bots has for us in store on this episode of Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Build your alliance with so many other FIRST alumni who go to Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to kettering.edu slash FIRST to learn more about their incredible programs and to get more information. I'm here with Elizabeth and Jerome and I'm, we're going to talk about their robot here. We're going to start off with Elizabeth who's going to talk about their elevator and a little bit about their coral and algae intakes. Elizabeth? So for our elevator, we have a two stage system with the carriage on the inside. And it is also powered by Krakens, which is new for us this year. Our algae intake is below right here. It's powered by these wheels and it holds the algae on the bottom, sorry. One thing that's interesting about this intake is that it's also connected to our coral intake. Go ahead and shoot that out. And so with that, we not only have the coral and the algae all in one certain spot, but the algae intake and the coral intake have a wrist mechanism. So if you want to go ahead and demonstrate that. And so this wrist mechanism not only allows us to have specific angles for each level, but it also allows us to have a greater area of more mobility just in case we get bumped by other robots. So, so along with this elevator, we can also go up a very far amount. So that also allows us to have more mobility to reach L1 through L4. So I'm looking at this elevator and it's moving really smoothly. How did you achieve that? Um, we leave a lot of our inspiration up to, of course, the students, but our mentors help us a lot with that too. So of course we design it in CAD before we cut the pieces and we assemble the pieces. Um, and so along with that, our powder coating, it was done by um, rookies this year. So that is something that we are very proud of, our rookies being able to powder coat this elevator almost by themselves. Um, our coating also helps a lot with the smoothness of the elevator because one issue that we had this year was not being able to initially reach L4 and our programmers were able to raise the elevator up just a little bit more through those that coating in order to reach high enough to get to L4. Well, thank you for taking us so much to the elevator and coral intake. We're gonna pass it on to Jeremiah, who's gonna to talk to us about our deep cage climb. So if you come in farther into the robot, we have the deep cage climb, which we have trademarked our rage climb. The reason it is called our rage climb is we use these nuts and bolts to make a clamp underneath the cage, not touching the top of the cage within regulation. And we are able to use the winch system to pull ourselves in and pull ourselves out. This was a very fun process for the students to really understand and to get going. We had a lot of trial and error and we was our first video put out this season. Um, it our drivers will be able to demonstrate how it kind of comes down The reason we have the polycarb on the front is to make it easier for aligning it. Once our drivers drive into it, we use the polycarb to catch the cage, which makes it easier for our ramp piece to snag under and winch itself back into the robot, making us have a highly successful climb. This climb is also powered by a geared up Neo, which allows us to do quick and efficient climbs at end game. Well, very interesting. I really like your lovely climb design. Right now at competition, how long is it taking you to climb? We've been able to do it in 10 seconds. 10 seconds has been a very consistent climb for us. And with the way we have distributed our weight us long, having our battery under our climb and the lower center of gravity by dropping our belly pan, 
we have been able to not only climb highly efficiently, but also distribute our weight and be a very robust bot in our climbs. Earlier we got hit, but we were still able to not take too much damage. Well, PantherBots, thank you for taking the time to go through your robot. You have an amazing robot, and we can't wait to see what you do here at the First in Texas Waco event. Thank you. Build your alliance with so many other FIRST alumni who go to Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to kettering.edu slash FIRST to learn more about their incredible programs and to get more information. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions.